coverage now of former congressional candidate found guilty of fraud. You may remember Sean Brown was convicted in October of using a summer food service program to defraud the federal government of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Harris. And I'm Laura Queso, and today she learns she's going to prison. Ten on your side's Chris Horn joins us live from court with the new information. Chris. Laura, here is a breakdown on the numbers. Three years active prison, followed by a year of house arrest and three years of probation, plus $90,000 in restitution. The prosecution called Sean Brown a menace to the public, and the judge said she showed no remorse. Had she shown remorse, she probably would have gotten a sentence somewhere between 12 and 15 months. Instead, 60-year-old Sean Brown gets three years in prison for fraud, conspiracy, and stealing from the government. A jury found her guilty of overstating numbers in a summer feeding program in order to get fraudulent reimbursement from the Department of Agriculture. Brown had little to say and let her attorney speak afterward. She never did anything criminal. She's never done anything wrong her whole life. At trial, the government said the amount of fraud totaled nearly half a million dollars. But Judge Henry Morgan reduced it to 90000 because that was all the records could show. Brown told the judge that her defense attorney, James Ellenson, sold her out, but she appeared by his side afterward. Sean and I have differences in trial strategy. We've had them from since day one, so um, that's okay. Brown attended Ivy League's Brown University, the London School of Economics, and Oxford University. Norfolk pastor Nathan Butler worked with Brown on the summer feeding program that fed underprivileged kids, and he spoke on her behalf. A whole bunch of other things that you could do with her level of intelligence to be criminal. Maybe she made some mistakes. Brown takes care of her ailing mother, whom she lives with in Hampton. The judge gave her a week before she has to report to prison. Or how are you going to spend the next seven days? Um, uh, making sure everything is in place for her mother. Despite the conviction in today's sentence, Brown says she is 100% innocent and she plans to appeal. Live in Norfolk, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.